What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to add cables and other curved details to this robot model using the add-on Curve Basher. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so you can download Curve Basher from the Blender Market. Notice that it's currently on sale as a part of the Blender Market Black Friday sale. So if you do catch this during the sale, this could be a great chance to get this at a discount. So if you don't catch this during the sale, it's still a great add-on for quickly creating different kinds of curves inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at an example. So what we've done is we've downloaded a robot file from Sketchfab. So this is the Mech Drone by Willie D. Carpentry. And uh, you can download this and you can follow along. But basically what I wanna do is I just wanna use this as an example for how we could add some different cables and uh, other things to this robot using Curve Basher. So first thing we're gonna do is make sure that you've enabled Curve Basher. So just look for Curve Basher, make sure you've installed it and enable it. Um, note that there are options in here to adjust different um, key maps. So if you do want to have a different key, open this stuff up, you can definitely do that. And so what we want to do is we need to start by adding a curve to this model, right? And so Curve Basher gives us the ability to do that. If I tap the N key and click on Curve Basher, notice how it gives us some key maps in here. What we want is we want to tap the C key for the curve cast key. So what we want to do is we want to tap the C key for the curve cast tool. And what we want to do is let's start by adding maybe a cable on the front of this robot. So I'm just going to tap C. Notice how this switches to a little cursor um, with crosshairs on it. Well, that means I can click in order to create a curve. And so notice how when we create a curve, what that does is that's going to start off just by creating a curve inside a blender that we can adjust. And we can adjust things like adaptive strength, handle size, all of that. You don't need to worry too much about that for right now. You can adjust things like the radius as well, but we're gonna be able to adjust all of this using Curve Basher anyway. So we've created a curve. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna select this and we wanna tap on the J key. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring up the Curve Basher window. And so what the Curve Basher window is gonna do is it's gonna give us the ability to change different things about this curve. So for example, notice how the type is currently set to a profile, right? And notice how it says on the right hand side, switch one through three. So if I hit two, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create this as an array object rather than a profile object. If I tap three, it's gonna add this as a kit bash object, which is gonna be an object where we can add different types of things in here um, instead of just like the simple curves. Notice how, by the way, when I'm moving my mouse, and we're gonna hit two for right now, but if I scroll my mouse button up and down, this is gonna scroll through the library of included profiles that are contained in here. So you can see how Curve Basher contains a number of different profiles in here already. So let's say, for example, we wanted to go with this coiled cable. We could do this just by scrolling our mouse to coiled cable. Notice how right now it's getting bigger and smaller when I move my mouse left or right. Well, if we uh, tap the R, key. That's going to allow us to change the rotation, which isn't a big deal on this one. The T key is going to allow us to set the twist, and the G key is going to allow us to slide this along the curve. So notice how if we slide this a ways like this, then it's going to slide off of that curve right here. So I'm going to leave it on scale for right now. And so once we've kind of set this the way that we want, we can just click in order to place this. So I'm just going to click in order to set that curve right here. So if we did want to come back and change this later, we could just select it and tap the J key again on our keyboard in order to adjust that. So if I was to tap J right here, we could come in here and we could completely change the kind of wire or cable that's created. And so from here, one thing that we could do is we could come in here and apply the robot material to this. Notice how that's going to apply the material that's inside of here. So we get this kind of like better look to our curve. And so what we can do is we can use this to add a number of different kind of curves and cables in here. So let's say for example, that we wanted to add maybe another metal cable coming off of here. So we could just tap the C key, click right here, rotate over, click right here, and you can create that cable. And what we can do is we can adjust this right here, including how much gravity is associated with this. So if we want this to just be straight, we could set this to zero like this. 
and then we can adjust the adaptive strength to set how far out this is going to go. So, so then we could jump into Curve Bash right here. And let's say for this one, we wanted to select, we could set this to be something like a thin dual flow, something like that, something that looks a little bit more like piping. You could also tap the R key and adjust this so that it rotates like this. So you can see how you could add that in here really quickly. And so then we'll just apply this material on here again. And notice how these curve locations are adjustable too. So if you were to select this curve and uh, you were to tap the J key, and then notice how down below it says, whoops, it says select curve points. Well, if you hit the tab key, that's gonna let you come in here and actually select those curve points and move them around. So let's say for example, that I wanted this cable to be more up like this. I could definitely do that. You can also adjust the rotations in here to adjust the way that your cable is going to be generated. So and all of this is live, meaning I could still come back here and like change the different types or do whatever I wanted to with that. So you're not really limited. Once you've made a change, you can definitely come in here and make other changes as well. All right, so then let's say that we wanted to create some cables that kind of trailed off of this object. Well, what we could do is we could use what's known as the wire generator. So wire generator is basically gonna be a tool that's gonna allow you to generate wires um, between different objects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a shift A. I'm just gonna add a cube. I'm gonna go ahead and scale that way down. And then we're gonna do a shift D to duplicate that. Then we'll do a shift D to duplicate it again. We may move these just a little bit so we get some curve um, in our cables. But now, if we were to select all of these, notice how it says right here, if you do a shift A and select the curve option, you can select the option for wire generator. What that's gonna do is that's gonna generate wires based on the locations of those cubes in here. The cool thing about this is if you move the cubes around, those wires are gonna move along with it. So you can do that. You can also select these and within Curve Basher itself, you can adjust them just by tapping that J key and then making the change right here. So you could set these so these are all dual cables or straight ropes or really any of the options that we have in here. So let's say you wanted to select the flat cover option. You could use the, uh, you could use the wire generator to create that really quickly. And notice how those wires are gonna live adjust whenever you move the boxes associated with that curve. Remember the Curve Basher is currently on sale during the Blender Market Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in this, I will link to it on this page. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what else you'd like to see with this add-on. 